Hi ladies and gents, this is a Mr. Pollock biology exam technique video and we're going to be looking at respiration the fundamentals. There's going to be a couple of these videos because for some reason my uh, my iPad recording software is uh, is being a little bit sketchy and won't let me record one massive video. So I'm going to break it down question by question. So in this I'm going to go through the fundamental respiration questions. That's just glycolysis link, Krebs, electron transport chain and a little bit on anaerobic respiration as well. Um, I'm going to try and do it as if I was doing the exam myself, explaining my thought processes to you guys and hopefully giving you hint, hints and tips along the way. So let's get started by looking at my first question. So here we have um, a diagram of, it says, uh, glycolysis, link reaction and Krebs cycle. And the first thing I'm going to highlight through it's always good to highlight key things, so it's representing different substances in glycolysis, link, and Krebs. Um, and we've got broken down by sections, there's glycolysis, there's link, and then all of this here is Krebs cycle. So the first task we have to do is to complete the diagram to show the number of carbon atoms present in one molecule of each compound. So let's have a little look through. Well our first compound is um, at the beginning of glycolysis and that's the hexose sugar glucose. So it's a hexose sugar meaning it's got six carbons in it. There we go, nice and straightforward. Now in glycolysis glucose is activated by the addition of phosphate. That makes it really really reactive and causes that activated or phosphorylated glucose or if you're being pedantic 1,6 fructose bisphosphate um, to split into two molecules of triose phosphate. So that's two molecules of a triose sugar, which is a three carbon compound. So six, which is one molecule into two molecules. Six divided by two is three. There we go, three carbon compound. Final bit there is pyruvate, the end stage of glycolysis and the start of link reaction. So link reaction, link reaction is a bit funny because link reaction involves decarboxylation, which is the removal of carbon dioxide. So that means that instead of just being three carbon like pyruvate, we've removed CO2 and we're going to be left with a two carbon compound instead. And that two carbon compound is acetyl-CoA, which can then go on to enter the Krebs cycle. Now, the Krebs cycle involves acetyl-CoA joining with a four carbon compound to make a six carbon compound. Four plus two is six. There we go. And then there's two stages of decarboxylation. So one carbon dioxide is removed here, which gives us a five carbon compound. And then another carbon dioxide is removed here, taking us back around to our four carbon compound from earlier. Now be aware that the current AQA specification for this does not require knowledge of this stage. It's only the four carbon and the six carbon you don't need to know. So don't worry too much about the five carbon compound although it is kind of useful because it shows where the carbon dioxides are evolved from. But hey, it's not too, not too much to worry about. So there we go, let's have a look through. What's our next question? Other substances are produced in addition to the carbon containing program, uh, compounds. Uh, name three of these other products. Well, we've got ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of the cell, which is produced as a result of substrate level phosphorylation in the Krebs cycle, just adding on phosphate to ADP. And we've also got the two reduced coenzymes, so that's reduced NADH, sorry, reduced NAD, I should say, also known as NADH, so reduced NAD, and I'll put that in brackets, NADH, Either one is acceptable, as is NADH2 if you want to be pedantic. And then the second one is reduced Na, sorry, reduced FAD, also known as FADH or FADH2. There we go. Three compounds, three marks, done. That's the first question in my Fundamentals of Respiration videos. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe.